So I had a reasonable strategy for uh, tank two here, um, which was to have a planted shrimp tank. I've had a lot of bother with it. So um, the only surviving shrimp is um, Lonely George, who is this red cherry shrimp here. Now, Lonely George was always the biggest, and so I think it's some environmental factor because he's got, uh, he or she has got a lower surface area to body weight ratio. It's a heavily planted tank. Um, it's a Marina 360 and it comes with a proprietary heater in the back which raises the temperature, it goes in there, uh, raises the temperature by about four degrees above what they normally say. And look, it's right beside a radiator. I went in the shop and the lady said that maybe the high temperature is the problem. Um, I've really been nice to these shrimp. So these are all real plants. That's bogwood. It's got a special filter there so that they don't get sucked up. Uh, you can see the remains of some you can see the remains of some almond leaves there. Um, I put some crushed up shell uh, for the nearite. So the nearite is very happy. There's a nearite snail in there. Now, of 11 plants, out of 11 shrimp, 10 died. It was all the smallest ones. Um, I've been probably overfeeding them slightly because I've got planaria worm, although the planaria do not hurt the shrimp. Um, so all in all we've got a high temperature tank with a lot of protein being fed and quite a high uh, amount of dissolved solids. The water's fine, so the carbonate hardness and the general hardness haven't really rocked it up, but I think overall they've been growing too fast. Um, it's a pretty well recognised problem now that I've hypothesised that. So I'm going to chill out with the feeding, take out the heater and not dissolve any more shell in there. and. I'm going to get some more shrimp and I'm going to see how Lonely George likes Lonely George's new friends. If that doesn't work, I'm going to accept that there's like copper in my pipes or something because the local fish shop have um, the same, probably the same water supply, um, but they've got something like a reverse osmosis or other uh, fancy pants heater that takes out all the heavy metals. Ah, there's the planaria. See the planaria there? Dirty little devils. It's because I've been overfeeding. So, uh, yeah, I think my shrimp have been growing too fast. And if I my shrimp don't live this time, I'm going to buy a frog. Frog like being by themselves in planted tanks, apparently. 